Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. So this is the other video that I promised you guys we were going to do where we uh, do some stuff that you guys have asked us, can you do it with Simtech Sealer? In this video, we're going to actually mix a trans tint dye into the Simtech Sealer and we're going to shoot this all mahogany Challenger. This is the Challenger Premier. And uh, we want it to be, uh, we want the base coat to be red and then um, we're going to put any more paint on it. So sort of like the uh, the faded Gibsons that uh, you might have remembered from a few years ago. Anyway, we've got this ready to go, uh, so let's mix up some sealer, mix up some dye, and get the color that we want. All right, since we're only doing one guitar, we're just going to mix up a little batch of, uh, of sealer here. And that's probably not enough. So we're going to mix the sealer exactly the same way. Uh, you know, a little bit of hardener, a little bit of sealer. Voila. Um, but we're going to add color. Remember when I said spoiler alert, we don't know if this is going to work or not? Actually, we do know it's going to work. We've tried this already. So we're using regular trans tint dye that you can buy from either from trans tint or from Stuart McDonald. In this case, we're going to use some of this red and some of this brown, and we're going to come up with a cool ready color, and then we're going to spray it. Probably put the hardener in too, huh? Yeah, probably at some point. Probably wouldn't hurt. So that's pretty red, but it's not, I don't think it's red enough. We're gonna add a little more, and you really kinda wanna go, you wanna go big on this stuff, cause once it atomizes, you don't want your guitar to look like that. Let's put a couple, uh, put a squirt of this brown in there and see what that does. Makes it a little better, but it's still not, not quite the color that I want. There we go. It takes a lot of stirring to break that stuff up, especially in the sealer. Somebody asked me, uh, you know, I'm not getting it to, to dissolve the way I want to in the in the DBC 500 and I'm like, I, you know, I've never had that issue before. Maybe they're just not stirring enough. What do you think, Chris? Is that dark enough? Yeah, maybe. I think, I think so. Let's try it out. We can always put more on, right? Mm -hmm. I think I want to add a little more brown. I think you do too. I think that looks good. Okay. Let's try it! got our very first course of sealer mixed with uh, the aniline dyes from Trans Tint and uh, I wanted to tell you guys a little a little story so this was remember this is a two-part video this is the sealer that we used um, for the video uh, the cheapest Harbor Freight gun can it spray Simtex sealer and this is the sealer that we used for the aniline dye mixed with Simtex sealer 30 minutes ago, this was getting harder and it was sort of like gel, and this was still liquid. And now, as you can see, they are both, you know, more or less starting to harden. This one's getting nice and hot now, so that's, it's a chemical reaction, so that's what it does. So, don't freak out like I just did and go, oh crap, did I remember to put the stuff in there? I did. So, anyway, let's pull the tape off the um, fretboard edge and have a look. I'm really happy with the way this color turned out. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, now what we're going to do is we're just going to peel back this, uh, this layer of mask and it's still pretty sticky you guys so you kind of need to work with purpose but not, not too fast. Alright. Does it look okay? Looks great.
I'm all sticky. So all the subsequent rounds are going to show the rosewood in the board, but what we really wanted to see was to make sure that we had side dots that didn't turn red when we sprayed them. Now dig this, look how dry this patch here in this spot and usually down here, there's always a real dry patch with sealer. Fortunately our red looked like it took, so when we spray round two of sealer, um, that's gonna be super cool. Okay, everybody, it's the next day and our sealers had a chance to set up. Um, so let's check it out. Here is the guitar that we sprayed with the uh, Simtex sealer that has the trans tint colors put in it. And I am really, really pleased with the way this turned out. Now, um, just like the other video that we made, everybody wonders what this is. It's a handle, people. Um, someone was like, oh, I see your guitar has exhaust on it. Thanks, butthole. Anyway, um, so there's uh, there's probably quite a bit more scuffing and sanding, and I want you to see, I want you to see this, see how the um, the fretboard. We we actually masked that because we didn't want it to be red. We wanted it to look like the rosewood, and we didn't want our side dots to turn red either. So we masked that. There is a a fingernail there that is a lip so what we'll do is we'll probably scuff this back and reshoot it one more time just to get rid of that um uh that ridge there because that's not cool uh anyway so yeah um here is here is the cup with the simtex sealer hold on let's get that shit out of there the simtex sealer that was mixed with the aniline dye as you can see it is now a puck o plastic so, for everyone who ever wondered, can you mix dye into the Simtech? Well, we did. Uh, <laughs> give it a try and see what you come up with. Your mileage may vary, but what I can tell you is, given the Simtech that we get from Simtech, which is the same stuff you get from Simtech, and given the trans tint dyes that we get from Stumac, which is the same stuff you get from Stumac, it works for us. So, um, give it a shot and see what you think. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you hit that subscribe button? If you appreciate content like this, you might want to go over to our Patreon page and consider becoming a member because even a buck a month goes a long way to helping us bring you cool stuff like this. By the way, this guitar will be on display at the 2019 Summer NAMM Show in Nashville, Tennessee. If you're in Nashville in the middle of July, stop by and, uh, and say hey to us. Um, if you can't do Patreon and you can't stop by in July, um, please like and share this video as many places as you possibly can. So until next time, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't play my guitar,